wake up, I drink coffee, and if I don't, I'm tired throughout the day, I'm kind of moody, but coffee is what helps me get through the day, get through my daily activities, and all of that. Um, I don't always have to rely on coffee, because um, there's stuff like soda, tea, well, tea is not my favorite, but there's even chocolate, and it gives you caffeine. The caffeine and all of these things is what helps me wake up. And according to National Institute of on Drug Abuse, nine out of 10 people get their intake, daily caffeine intake from coffee. And I happen to be one of those nine out of 10. But I personally enjoy coffee the most. I love it, but I always wonder, like, is it okay for me? Like, what does it do to my body? Is it helping me more or is it like, secretly like affect negatively affecting me. Today I will provide you with information about caffeine, how much an average person consumes, and how it affects you positively and negatively. I've been doing a lot of research on caffeine and every like all the stuff that caffeine has and then what it does to your body. And I've been drinking coffee for like a while so I've personally been affected by it. Um, but ca caffeine is a socially, socially acceptable psychoactive drug, according to Meredith E. Stephen, a postdoctoral research fellow at the John Hopkins University of School of Medicine. A psychoactive drug is also known as a psychotropic substance. It is a chemical substance that acts primarily upon the central nervous system, where it alters brain function, resulting in temporary changes in perception, mood, consciousness and behavior and when I drink coffee my mood is definitely a lot better and I'm a little nicer so that's true but the National Institute of Drug Abuse said that a, an average person can have about 400 milligrams of caffeine and they'll be okay like you're fine but anything above that will kind of make you feel jumpy and jittery and you'll be anxious and it's bad but 400, 400 milligrams of coffee looks like five cups of coffee. That's eight ounces each. Or it's about 12 cans of Coca-Cola. I don't think any of you are gonna be drinking 12 cans of Coca-Cola in one day. At least I sure hope you, you don't. So I think you guys are safe. Um, that's kind of like an or overview of what caffeine is, but other than that, like it's a psychoactive drug, just like cocaine. So sometimes people relate it to cocaine because it does all the same effects. It makes you happy, it wakes you up, like, but it's just kind of smaller and it's like socially, socially acceptable. Like, <laughs> it's okay. But now that I'm giving you an over overview of what caffeine is and how much caffeine there is in our daily consumptions, I will discuss some of the negative effects of caffeine. If you drink caffeine, It'll wake you up, and that's kind of a good thing. Like, if you want to be woken up, or if you want to stay in bed, don't drink caffeine. But if you drink it in the morning, and you have to pull an all-nighter because you have a speech due the next day, and spring break sort of just messed up with your schedule, then... <laughs> but <laughs> caffeine can lead to insomnia, and that's kind of the worst if you really want to go to bed, but you can't because you had too much coffee, or you had it too late, like past five, or you ate too many chocolates, and chocolate has caffeine in it, like I've mentioned before, and that'll wake you up and keep you up all night. Caffeine can also cause nervousness, restlessness, ir irritability, it can make you have an upset stomach, I've experienced that before, it can make your heartbeat go faster, and it even um, affects muscle tremors. Caffeine can cause some people to have irregular heartbeat. It can lead to increased anxiety or depression, or it can trigger it if you already have it. It can stain your teeth, and nobody wants stained teeth. But you can fix that by like drinking it with a straw, so it doesn't like it doesn't affect it as much. But it's still. So um, some of the positive things about caffeine is that if you consume consume like a moderate amount of caffeine you're fine, like I said, 400 milligrams is kind of the average, and that's about 12 cups of Coca-Cola. 
So if any of you were forbidden from drinking coffee when you were like younger and your parents said, no, it'll stunt your growth, well, that's not true. So there's a positive thing that it did not stunt your growth if you were, if you didn't listen to your parents and you drank it anyways. It, can, it is linked to lower rates of pretty much all the cardiovascular diseases according to American Heart Association. There's a meta-analysis on neurological disorders found that caffeine is associated with lower risk of Parkinson's disease, type 2 diabetes, and it has a potential protective effect against Alzheimer's disease. Good thing, because I forget everything. But besides medical effects, caffeine has on you. Um, the real reason people consume it is to wake up and have some more energy. And I'd say that's kind of like a really positive effect for everybody. So today I've provided you with information about what caffeine is, how much caffeine is in our daily drinks, and the positive and negative effects of caffeine. So I hope you guys go out and if somebody, if you're drinking ca caffeine and somebody asks you, why do you drink caffeine? You can either provide them with the positive things I've said to you, or if you're not drinking caffeine and somebody's like, why aren't you? You're like, well, it does this, this, and this. And you can tell them the negative effects that I've told you. So, I'm drinking coffee.